Nancy Ruth Owens here, aka the Real Zodiac Killer, Reagan Second Shooter, Hoffa's Bomber. Um, it is November the 25th of 2020, 223 in the afternoon. <clears throat> so, one of the other individuals on my channel had uh, actually, this individual had emailed me and asked that I, I guess, elaborate on Phil McConnell. Um, and as I had emailed this individual back, I mean, there's there's really not much to tell. He was uh, basically an office boy. I mean, he, you know, um, unlike his, uh, I guess they call it a moniker, field, he wasn't in the field. You know, if he was in the field, he was with uh, Bush. And that was, you know, Bush was around a couple of times and so I saw filled in quotations Phil McConnell in the field <sighs> during the Lieutenant Sabo murder for sure and um, I think if I've ever seen filled in the field after, other than that no 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 field in the field. <laughs> no field in the field. Um, so, what you have to realize with Field McConnell is this autopilot thing he said he keeps talking about. Um, he had me bomb a commercial airline, I believe out of Miami, but don't hold me to it. It could have been West Palm. Uh, I The only memory I have of that is walking in, up to a man handing him a box, knowing it had a bomb in it, knowing it was going to blow the plane, um, saying this is from um, real name John Potter. And he's a pot you know the he's a the guy knew he was a pilot and he said well there's no need to scan this it's from one of our the, you know he, he's a pilot here he works here so i have no reason to scan this box and the box was not scanned and you know the plane blew um so what field mcconnell's game is is to to distance himself from that bombing by claiming an alibi, his alibi to be the automatic pilot, whatever. I keep forgetting. And, and what's his face? Um, David Hawkins keeps keeps tr um, repeating this story over and over. Uh, in support of Phil McConnell's alibi. So Phil McConnell, if you don't, you know, if you don't recall from some of my videos, he's uh, John John Ramsey's father. He's not his her uncle. He, he's her father um, from Clewiston, and I know that he, he and his probably I wouldn't say for sure his sister. But somebody helped him set up this uh, Polk County, I think Minnesota, game to hide. I mean, I'm from Polk. I'm, I live in Polk County to hide the connection between me and him. Um, so, I again, I as I emailed this individual, I. I I guess I should do a live show because I, you know, maybe, maybe these, you know, maybe some people have more specific questions of what they're looking for. Um, I know he turned the sh his show over to Kurt Pendergrass and Chris Hallett. Uh, Chris Hallett was recently murdered within the past week because these two individuals um, show themselves as. They're basically giving, I mean, uh, they're giving lessons, 
legal law lessons. And Agent 19, again, Agent 19 called him out on this as though they are legal law professors. And apparently some woman in, uh, in, the northern, in a northern state turn to them for help perhaps you know don't, don't hold me to this turn to the and somehow she came down here to Acala and apparently maybe some argument ensued and um ended she ended up allegedly again I have to be really careful because I don't know allegedly it killed uh Chris Hallett and is apparently has apparently been arrested for it um and they're talking about extraditing her down to Ocala. So, yeah, again, other than what I've already said about Phil McConnell, I, I really don't know what to add. You know, I really don't. Um, I've addressed it all in, in videos before. So, if you have questions, uh, comments, if, you, if there's something I'm just not quite picking up on, that I haven't already covered, um, you know, ask me in the questions below, you know, uh, I, I just got through writing a movie script, and so uh, they advise between movie scripts to take a, you know, a two-week to four-week vacation from it before you go, you know, after your first draft, before you go into your second draft. Now, Am I going to ever successfully write a solid screenplay? I very seriously doubt it, okay? But since it is based on a true story, it is a true story um, on how... I mean, I, I have no choice but to use the word mastermind because I did mastermind the, the, the forgery of, the, of Obama's birth certificate. It just sounds so much more nefarious. <laughs> well, I don't know. So anyway, I, it, the, the screenplay is a true story on how I masterminded the, the Ford's birth certificate. Um, how I came up with the idea, because Obama is my half-brother, how I came up with the idea, how it was implemented, uh, who were some of the... the "Quote unquote players and and the end result, which was the murder, my murder, of the one you know as Griselda Blanca II, at the end of 1985. She has not been in sitting in in a California jail all these years. All right, that's more of their BS stories that they keep alive to keep people from knowing what the real truth is." She came after me in front of um, Postel's Neat Market in Clewiston, Florida at the end of 1985. Uh, she was not happy with me having a degree in journalism and transferring up. You know, I was, I was just fixing to, you know, like two, two more, within the next two weeks, I was going to be transferring to the University of Florida, Gainesville, Florida. Maybe that's George Webb's, in quotations, Zanesville. Okay. He was looking for evidence in Zanesville. Zanesville. Well, I have that evidence, and then he knows I have this evidence. Um, again, if you want to know, gosh, all of these citizen journalists that, oh, man, they just, they, they take this, and, and they just make everything so much worse with, with all of the uh, false intel. Um so anyway, Phil McConnell, I've put in videos what pretty much the whole story. I mean, I, I really am not sure what to add. Again, if you want more, if you want something more specific, if you're looking for something specific, you know, do questions. I'm on a roll today. This is my fourth video. Um, you know, I've, it's been a while since I've done a live show, so I'm not even sure I'm capable of doing it without you know, totally spending the next two hours trying to remember how to do it. Um, it actually took me an hour just to get my microphone up and run. 
<laughs> it's just not as easy as you, you would think to do these 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 videos. Um, and every time you learn what to do, I mean, it's like the next week, new technology comes out and changes. Uh, so, yeah, Phil McConnell, Lieutenant Sabo, I covered that in the video. John Bonet Ramsey covered that in the video. Um, yeah, I was on repeating the, the murder of Chris Hallett, so maybe some people who watch my videos aren't aware of it. If you aren't, then you can go to eClaws and they'll go into detail and there are, um, who else has gone into detail on that? Who else covered, where did I learn that one from? I guess I'm, yeah, it had to be from eClaws. Kurt Pendergrass is where I first found out that Chris Hallett had been murdered. Um, then there's some other videos on it as well. So, um, again, I would love to accommodate you and, and, and give you whatever information you're looking for on Phil McConnell. I just, I really don't know what more to add to it than what's already been added in the videos. Maybe, maybe you're looking for a comprehensive, uh, from beginning to end on Phil McConnell. I mean, yeah, uh, let me know what you're looking for. Yeah, I'm on a roll. Fourth video today. I might do more. Um, yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll do what I can. So it is again November the twenty fifth of twenty twenty. It is two thirty five in the afternoon. I don't know y'all, but I like knowing exactly when the video goes up. You know, kind of especially when you do more than one video in a day. So two thirty four in the afternoon. Florida time. Y'all have a good one.